Jeez, Kath, I'm so excited, man. Hi there, can I take your order, please? Hi, can I please have two strawberry sundaes? Two strawberry sundaes? Yes, please. And yeah. a large chocolate milkshake, please. Large chocolate. Yeah, is that everything? That's everything, thank you. Would you like to go around the window when you're ready? Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Evening McDonald cruise. You're going to park up after and rev our engines? I think we should. Hi, Rosa. Oh. Eating healthy. Yeah, we just had an ice cream. It's middle of winter, but we had an ice cream. I needed a bit of a sugar rush. I knew how to do this little talk, so I needed to sort of perk myself up. Been a long day at work. What was I going to talk about? Got a few more uh, fresh subscribers to my channel. These subscribers were local BMXers, new to the scene actually. I was talking to them at the YMCA skate park. They asked if I do YouTube, I said yeah. Then he realised who I was, recognised my name. Said they've only just started riding. And, um, well, not been doing it for very long. And he's calling out stuff around the skate park. And I said, oh yeah, I know a friend who could do that. They actually called out a flare, asked if I could flare. I said, I can't flare. I said, I have a friend who could flare. There's certain objects, really easy. They asked who he was. When I mentioned his name, they had no idea who he was. They had never heard of him. And this kind of, did not upset me, but it was like, if you join the BMX scene, you should kind of know the history of the BMX scene. I give it to these guys, they haven't been riding for very long, so I give it to them. But I feel like if you join a BMX scene, you've got to kind of know the history of that scene. That's just me. Maybe I'm sort of an old fart, old school. But lucky enough for me. I fixed that hard drive the other day. A lot of footage on that hard drive was of a certain rider. A certain rider I want to talk about right now. I look back at the Bridgewater scene. Bridgewater Town, it's where I live. Bridgewater BMX scene. It's been pretty good over the years. Proper underground. A lot of people will say, don't know any Bridgewater riders. Don't many, I don't know many people who's come from Bridgewater based on BMX. Not a lot of them sort of like got into the main spotlight to be honest. Myself, all the other riders, none of us became pros or anything like that. Not in Bridgewater. All kind of slightly ghetto. Since that hard drive started working, I started looking down through the list of all the clips in there. This guy's name popped up a lot of times. And that's exactly why I'm doing this. And I want this guy to ride a lot more, because he doesn't hardly ride anymore. Who is this guy? Well, he's got about 10 different names. And yes, he is, to this date, the best BMXer to this date to ever come from the Bridgewater BMX scene. Fact. Based on what he's done, what he's put his body through, and what sort of tricks and stuff he's landed. And he's kind of like an all-rounder. When I first ever set eyes on him, I wasn't very fond of him, I'll admit that. He'll, he'll know that as well because he's a bit younger and he kind of come on the scene he's a little bit cocky and none of us really liked him to start with but then as he progressed he turned into a proper nice chap and he was a good rider and like I say he was kind of like a humble setup all round in a way I kind of took him under my wing he was a lot younger so I had to keep driving him around everywhere driving him to all these spots and I kept filming him all the time and that's why I've got so much footage of him and I look back from the early days to the present and how he progressed, it was crazy. So without further ado, this is a montage of Max Karakides, AKA the bear, AKA car keys, AKA whatever else people made of him. He had like 10 different names, but his real name is Max Karakides, the bear. Oh, fuck. fuck me! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's a fencer. It's a fencer, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need a good shot, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. And that in the shoulder again. Is it? <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Are we, are we, where are we moving you? This way? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, Dodgy pump. <laughs> One more bear. for it. Oh. I've hurt my chest for one. Oh. I've hurt my chest for the bottom of my leg. fucking hand.
a montage of Max Karakidis, The Bear, Car Keys, best ever rider to this date to ever come from the Bridgewater BMX scene, based on tricks he landed, based on his attitude, not giving a shit. And yeah, he had pictures featured in Ride Magazine, even in like pro NAS as well. And it was funny, because there was a clip in there and he did that big flare at NAS. And he was so stoned during that run, he kind of forgot what he was doing. And he kind of went up on the deck and he didn't know what he was doing. He's kind of looking around like, do I still have to go? And he kind of just like sort of just, just rode off the course. I was just like, what, what are you doing? And he could have done really well that, that, that time. As I say, the flare was massive. And I'm sure he did a double whip up the step up after, but I couldn't can't film it because it was kind of like beyond my reach kind of thing. And yeah, he's a strange one, but over the years, legend. And those kids who I was talking to the other day at the skate park who didn't know who he was, that's who he is. And there will be times when I drag his ass out and I will get him riding again. That is a fact. After he sees this, he'll want to ride again. So Max Karakidis, I am coming for you. Until then, bye for now. So healthy.